All right, so this video is going to be a little bit different from what I've done in the past. This is going to be more of a gear review, um, and we're going to be talking about this guy, this uh, Brevity Runner backpack. It's a backpack that doubles as a camera bag, um, and it's pretty cool. I've been using it for about a year now, so I can speak to the longevity of it, how it's holding up, um, you know, pros and cons of the bag for anybody who might be interested in buying it. Uh, I'll make sure to leave timestamps for specific uh, parts of the bag and then also uh, when we talk about the pros and cons and who it's for at the end of the video as well. So if you're here to see a specific part, just check out the timestamps below. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so Brevity, the company that makes this bag, they've been around for a while now. Uh, they're based in New York. Um, and I think they've had most of their success from uh, TikTok, viral TikToks, and uh, social media marketing and things like that. So you might have seen this bag or uh, another bag that they make, the jumper, uh, pop up on your social media feeds if you're a photographer, if you're into that kind of stuff. Right now on their website, they have three offers. They have the jumper, the runner, and the jumper XL. So the jumper just has a zip top and then the runner has this flap. Um, and then obviously the Jumper XL is just a slightly larger version of the uh, zip version of the bag. But all three are pretty similar. Um, again, outside of just the top closure and the size of the Jumper XL. Um, so if you're looking at either of those other two bags, this video will still give you a really good idea of what you can expect. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the outside features of the bag without going into pockets yet, just a couple of things. Uh, on the outside, you have a little bit of branding here, just this rubber uh, emblem, the Brevity logo that is stitched onto the front. You have a carry handle on the top that's actually really pretty comfortable to use. Um, and then these straps, they're not ultra thick. Uh, they're just the same top to bottom, um, not super like moisture wicking or airy or anything like that. So this is not probably a great long distance hiking bag or anything like that, but they are comfortable enough to carry, you know, laptop, camera gear, all that kind of stuff uh, for a walk around the city or anything like that. I've never had a problem with this bag being uncomfortable. Um, but then again, I've never done, you know, serious hiking with it or anything like that. On the back here, you'll see that it has a luggage pass-through handle. So your carry-on luggage, uh, you can feed the handle up through here and it will ride on top so you don't have to carry it through the airport. So on this side, you're gonna have your quick access. Uh, this is on the wearer's left. So on your left-hand side as you're wearing the bag. Um, and this is really cool. This is kind of the main feature of the bag for most people. Uh, really simple to, you know, Slide this to one shoulder, open this up, pull your camera out, take a shot. It's, you know, really straightforward. Um, and I've attached a little carabiner on here just because this does, it, you know, it is a pretty conspicuous zipper. So if somebody wanted to get in there, they could pretty easily. So if you're walking through an airport or something like that, you can clip these together. That way it's uh, pretty difficult to unzip this. So just a little pro tip. You can do that with any backpack, obviously, not just this one. Uh, on the bottom, you have your tripod carry straps, so these, there's two of them. These expand uh, out uh, to hold a tripod. On the other side of the bag, you have uh, your water bottle holder. This is a really pretty nice water bottle holder. I wish that it had a mesh on the bottom to let sand drain out. Uh, we were just in Charleston not too long ago and I still have sand in my bag. Um, and then this is another tripod kind of carry option. Um, full disclosure, I hate this thing. It falls off and comes undone constantly. I wish that it just wasn't on the bag. Um, but if you do want to carry a tripod this way, this does expand enough to fit most tripods. It's probably going to work better with a smaller one. Um, but that being said, this would uh, kind of come up and over your tripod and then clip into place just to keep it from, you know, wiggling around in the top. All right, as far as pockets go, um, you have a few main sections. So this is the front section. This is a double layered zipper, which you can see here. So there's an inner zipper and then there's an outer zipper. Um, the outer zipper is, it just leads to an admin pouch like uh, most backpacks have. So there's four of these uh, mesh stretchy pockets here. These are really great for organizing things. I have, you know, a cliff bar and some gum in here. I'll keep hand sanitizer and a mask and all that sort of thing in there. Um, 
on top like i said this is the reason i got the runner this top pocket adds actually quite a bit of storage it uses the whole dimension of the top flap um, and i've gotten all kinds of things in there so uh, and then with the camera divider folded down you'll see it when, when it's folded up it attaches here but when it's folded down it velcros to the sides of the bag um, and creates this base here so you're really only getting you know, this much of the top portion of the bag, and then the rest down is, is all camera gear. Uh, but this top portion is good for a, a jacket or something like that. And then it also has this little hidden pocket on the inside. This is good for, you know, whatever you might want uh, kind of out of the way or hidden away in your bag. So nice little option there. And as we mentioned before, there's a second zipper right here, and that's going to go right into your camera compartment. So this is where all of your camera gear is going to be held. Now, every bag should come with two of these folded dividers, one long divider and a short divider. Um, I'm not sure if the Jumper XL comes with more or different kinds of dividers, but the Jumper and the Runner come with these. So as a street photographer, I keep my smaller lens on my camera most times, but this is a Tamron 28-75. to This is for Sony full frame. So this is a pretty standard size zoom lens, uh, 2.8 zoom lens. So this is a pretty decent sized lens just to give you uh, an idea of the size. This would definitely hold a 70 to 200 here. Uh, the rest of the pockets I have pretty much open just because I don't carry that much gear. Um, and then this is where the side access is. So this zipper folds out and then you can access your camera from here. Last but not least, this top compartment is for a laptop. It has this kind of rain seal zipper just to avoid any moisture coming through. Um, and this fits uh, up to a 16 inch MacBook. I think that'd be a pretty tight fit though because this is a 13, uh, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So um, it definitely has enough room in the uh, height department, but as far as width, it might be a little bit tight. All right, just taking one more look around the bag before we move on. Uh, this is your left hand side as you're wearing the bag, your right hand side with the water bottle pocket and then uh, the back as well. One thing I forgot to mention is it does have this passport pocket here on the side. This is pretty cool. Uh, usually if I put something in here, I forget it's there. So super, super cool feature that it has that it's right against your back, so it'd be really hard to get into. Great spot for wallet, passport, things like that. But anyway, yeah, that is the runner by Brevity. All right, so now that we've been through the pockets and features and everything of the Brevity Runner. I just want to talk about some pros and cons, who the bag's for, uh, my personal experience with it, and that sort of thing. Like I mentioned at the start, I've been using this bag for over a year now. It has held up well, really no major complaints about the quality of the bag. I think this is going to be a really good option for short day trips, you know, people looking for uh, something to carry their essentials, their camera gear, maybe a laptop to a coffee shop or to a downtown portrait session or a short hike or something like that. On the other hand, however, if you're doing any kind of serious travel or intense hiking, you might look somewhere else. If you're not aware, Brevity recently raised their prices. For example, a year and a half ago, I purchased this bag for, I think, $99, and now they are charging $170 for it. If you're patient, you can find it on a sale and save a little bit of money. Um, but now that they've raised the price, they are putting themselves in competition with uh, more premium products. And so my honest recommendation for people looking to do, like I said, any kind of serious travel, more intense hiking, things like that, is to look at other brands like Peak Design and Wander. I honestly think that for around the same price or maybe a little bit more, you'll be getting much more bag for your money, higher quality materials, um, for example, I travel with a Wander 21 liter bag and something like that bag will be a much better option for you if you're looking to do anything more than like a short day trip around town. So that about wraps it up. I will definitely be keeping this bag around. It's, it's been great for uh, coffee shops and day trips and things like that. So definitely don't have any plans of getting rid of it anytime soon. If you do happen to have any questions about this bag or the other backpacks that Brevity makes, leave those down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.